What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Face Mask Podcast. My name is John Alsace, and today I wanted to get into a guy that was recently cut after being with his team for eight seasons, and that's Giovanni Bernard. And basically how the Giovanni Bernard uh, departure affects Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan, and Travion Williams, the other backs that are on this roster. So back to Gio. He was drafted by the Bengals in 2013 in the second round to be their workhorse, and it never really happened. But he was always a very good number two. During his prime years, he was a great number two. Now, it, rumors are they recently asked him to take a pay cut, and he responded by just saying, yo, just, just release me. Let me go elsewhere to a team that where I might not get paid as much money I might have a chance to win now that I'm 30 years old so how does this affect the rest of the Bengals backfield Joe Mixon was the RB9 in PPR in 2018 he was the RB13 in PPR in 2019 in 2020 he was the RB11 before going down but it was a boomer bust running back 11. You weren't able to rely on him for consistent week in, week out production. He'd have one game where, you know, it was on the RB2 level, and then one game where he was top three, and then another game back to the RB2 level, and it was just kind of a seesaw with him. Now that was all with Geo getting goal line work and passing down work. Geo had 48 plus targets in all but one season as a Bengal. Now they had signed Samaj P. Ryan to a two year deal three weeks before letting go of Giovanni Bernard. It was around the beginning of the free agency period. Now he's a direct backup to Joe Mixon. He's a one. One down, two down, spelling back. He's not a pass catching back. What they lost in Gio Bernard, I think they plan to replace with Travion Williams, who at 5'8, 208 pounds, profiles more as a Giovanni Bernard third down replacement than Samaj P. Ryan. But I could envision them also going out and grabbing another back to fit either mold in the fourth or fifth round, just in case they get caught in a situation like they were last year with Mixon going down. Personally, if we're projecting Mixon to play 15, 16 games, Mixon's a borderline top 10 running back, and I believe he should finish with the highest output of his career, considering the offense in which he plays, Hopefully, in the draft, the Bengals continue to bolster their O-line and maybe invest in some offensive weapons that'll help spread out the field a little bit more for Joe Burrow and Joe Mixon. But either way, Joe Mixon is, is not likely to be an elite running back option. But he'll still be an RB1. Do you guys agree? Am I completely off basis? Put your thoughts in the comments section below if you disagree or agree with us. Hopefully, mostly, you're agreeing with us. But thank you for listening. This is the Face Mask Podcast. My name is John Alsace, and have a great day.